What is going on guys? Dylan Merwa here and hope you guys are enjoying your nice Tuesday afternoon. Welcome to Darlington. Carolina Dodge Geo is 400. Jeff Gordon won the last one yesterday's race at Atlanta. We finished 30th. Hopefully that isn't the case today. You guys are enjoying your nice Thursday afternoons. I know you're getting to that point in the school year. But y'all got to push through it. Summer's almost here. And for anybody who's um, in my class of 2019, we going to be seniors. We going to be heroes just for one day. People dream they can be heroes just like us. But few can be them. Maybe we can be those heroes. I'm trying to be William Shatler. It's not Shatner. It's not going well. Let's go. Fun fact: uh, In September 2001. Kurt Busch won his very first poll at this track, which we will be, if we unlock his uh, pro 2001 primary this year, which there's a good chance we will because, you know, Richmond's coming up, up shortly. Um, why do I always have to qualify outside the top 30? If we unlock his 2001 primary... We will be using that for this race. I mean, there's a good chance we might because uh, Richmond's coming. Because some of the tracks are coming up, like uh, Bristol. We're going to be running his uh, Sharpie scheme that he won. It didn't have the exact... I mean, it didn't have the, doesn't have the exact win $1 million deal that... Kurt Busch put on in that Sharpie put on in 2002 with Kurt Busch, but it kind of has kind of the same general GP. Paint scheme wise, looks like uh, we got a couple in this race. Um, Jimmy Johnson, Rusty Wallace come to mind. Uh, I think I saw a Muppets paint scheme towards the back, possibly. Um, I think I possibly might have saw a different one at the back of the field. I'm not sure who. Um, I know Rusty's got one. Ward Burton's got one, as we saw in that little shot earlier when I was trying to do that William Shatner stuff. Um, I must be saying things that I don't remember seeing anybody. Anyways, pace car is off. 14 laps at one of NASCAR's toughest tracks. We're green at the Lady in Black. Or as I like to call it, Brake Check Central. And we already have seven spots in the first two corners. Trying to get him to the inside of Dale Jarrett. Possibly the 55 of Hamilton, Bobby Hamilton as well. 
love racing this track because I my line is usually right below the white. I mean, it's not recommended, but sometimes when you're in the situation, I willingly put myself in here. Um, oh, we got a car blown up in front of me. That's the six of uh, Mark Martin blowing up. Definitely a tough go for him today. Two laps in at this in this one. Let's go on board the Rubbermaid Sharpie Ford. Hi, Terry. Bye, Terry. Gordon, don't block. Thank you. Ooh, three wide with Harvick, and he's going to... Freaking chop our noses off. Harvick kind of Harvick kind of derped on that derped on that one. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but he's probably gonna go down and fight me after the race because that's what 2002 Kevin Harvick does. There's, we were trying to pass Gordon. I mean, we had a great run on the outside, but if Harvick didn't try to chop, come up in front of us off in three and four, I, well, I honestly would have had a bunch of cars. Looks like Gordon's trying to get up to the top 10. He got by the 10 of Johnny Benson. And I think he might be trying to challenge his teammate for a spot as well. That may be a unique possibility. Get him. There is the 24 Gordon. Yes, he is trying to get by his teammate. And rookie of the year, Jimmy Johnson. We'll get a little bit of... I actually have his die cast. Um, I originally, when I picked this game up, I was actually going to do a season with that car. But then I realized that it's not really going to be a lot of schemes to unlock. Lock, unlock, you know, Thunderplate-wise. I was also thinking doing... Uh, you know, somebody oddball like uh, Ken Schrader or something like that. Because anytime, if nobody makes a custom car for these Let's Plays, they usually do guys like uh, Junior. I know when What If Racing did his Let's Play, he did uh, Dale Junior. Um, in the season, when he did season mode on this game, he did uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, Yeah, we missed Pit Road. We're just going to come down next time, make it easy on ourselves. Um, current leader right now is the eight. Speaking of Dale Earnhardt Jr., he's currently leading in the uh, Carolina Dodge Dealers 400. And just like him, he will, we will be pitting with each other as we hopefully don't miss the pits. Tighten up Ford fuel and let's get out of here because I honestly don't think we have that much damage. I mean, other than getting the Harvick a little bit, there really isn't a lot, a lot of damage to this car. So four and fill it up. I want to get out of here quick. And I think Jim, Ani, John Andretti just murdered one of our crew guys. <laughs> just morphed right through him. Just straight up murdered him. Junior comes out first. And I come out next to Jeff Gordon. And, oh God, Gordon. Bro, get going. Like, today would have been great. Um... Yeah, today would have been really, real great, Mr. Gordon, to, you know, actually hit the gas. I don't know. I mean, compared to how much of total crap Atlanta was, um, that was probably, 
Atlanta and Vegas were two of our worst finishes, so I'm feeling uh, intermediate tracks are going to be a pretty big struggle for us this year in this Let's Play. So, obviously, with the accession of Homestead coming up, because I'm pretty good on fl flat Homestead. And probably our best bet may be the Restrictor Plates, Watkins Glen, and possibly the possibly Richmond as well. Ooh, we kind of got a little aggressive with uh, Labani there. And a sandwich between both the Labani brothers and the sandwich between with between Bobby Labani, who I believe won here in 2000, and uh, Terry Labani, who got his last win here in 2003. As we're up the racetrack. Oh, God, Gordon. I think Gordon's still mad at me after uh, what I did to him in the Daytona 500. <laughs> Don't you think? And the caution comes out for debris. Late caution to spice things up. Terry Labonte crunches us into the wall because he's a moron. We're going to restart this uh, next this restart here. First one of the day. We're going to restart in 12th. We got three laps to get into the top 10. Our goal is the top five, but if we can get a win, that would be so cool. Because I believe Bobby Labonte in 2000 came from 30th to win in one of these races. If uh, memory serves me correctly which uh, some days it has, some days it honestly hasn't. Up to seventh. So we can try to get under Jimmy, get a little, get him a little loose. And he hits the brakes. We got a couple more cars to get into the top five. We might be able to get up to Mayfield. And here we go. White flag is out at Darlington, presented by Credit One Bank. Dale Jr., one second ahead. We could, if we don't screw up these last two corners, we may have a shot, but it might not be enough. Down the backstretch, he goes. And it's not enough. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins it here at Darlington while I finish second. Bye. Okay, right here, I honestly think if we can go back to the first replay again. Um, like right here, here we go. So I'm next to Gordon. Um, now I'm trying to go in here. I get into Nadu a little bit. I had a lot of speed going into three. We're three wide for a moment between me, Johnny Benson, and Jerry Nadu. Nady right here. I do a slide job on him. And then I'm trying to get a run. Um, at the moment, I probably should have held my line. But normally, if you're three wide at Darlington like that, it's kind of a no-win situation either way. So what do you guys think I could have done in that? Comment below. want to hear your thoughts. We're going early for this next episode of NASCAR Thunder 2003 tomorrow at Bristol, 
10.30 a.m. Eastern. And we're in fourth and points. 42 back from that man right there. This will be the car we run. See you tomorrow at 10.30 at 10.45 a.m. Mountain Time, so 12.45 Eastern.